Good afternoon, everybody. How are y'all doing? Me? I'm doing great. I'm Mary Love, and I want to welcome you to Country Living. How many of you ever went to Kentucky Fried Chicken and tried one of those little chocolate parfaits that they used to sell? You know, it had the whipping cream on the bottom, the chocolate pudding, and then more whipping cream on the top with the little chocolate sprinkles sprinkled on top of it. I used to love those things when I was a kid. And I was thinking about that the other night, and I thought, well, I don't have the chocolate sprinkles, but I do have the chocolate pudding and the uh, Dream Whip to make some whipped topping with. So I'm going to make some whipped topping. I'm using a family size box of chocolate pudding. It's instant, so I'm going to make that up first, put it in the refrigerator, let it set up, while I make the whipped cream, because the whipped cream, you got to whip it for about four or five minutes. So let's get down here and get this pudding made. All right, we're going to put this, and I'm going to be putting this in my little jelly jars so that I can put lids on them and put them in the refrigerator. And then when I want one, I'll have it. Unless my husband gets up in the middle of the night and decides he wants a snack. Now to this pudding, it actually calls for three cups of milk. I'm just going to be using about just under three cups. Because I want it to have a little bit thicker consistency. So I'm guessing about two and a half cups is what I'm going to use. So there's two cups. <coughs> Now we're going to do a half a cup. So there's a half a cup. We're going to mix this on high. Go. Now we're going to put this in the refrigerator and let it be setting up while I make the whipped topping. And it won't take this for just a minute or a couple minutes and then it'll be thick. All right, good enough. Let me put this in the refrigerator. Now we're going to mix up this whipped topping. I'm going to use one packet of it. I may have wished, let's see, I think we're going to go ahead and just make both. Yeah, we're just going to make them both. That way I know i got plenty of whipped cream. Because I've had this stuff for a while and I hope it's still good. Well, it says it's good till March 24th, so hey, I'm good. All right. We're going to put in two bags. I'll get them open. And it's, each bag calls for a half a cup of milk, so we're going to use about a cup and a half of milk. Maybe a little more. Maybe one and three-fourths cup. So I want it to be a little thick. A little over one and a half. So we're going to pour that in. Well, no. We're going to wait just a second. How much vanilla does it say to add? Or does it? Half a teaspoon of vanilla. So we're going to add a teaspoon of this. Let me 
unplug my hand mixer. Is this you need a, a whisk for it. So, and I haven't tried out the whisk for my immersion blender. So, we're going to give this a try today. So, let's get this thing plugged in. Alrighty. Now, add the milk. Teaspoon of vanilla, and if you get a little more, that don't matter. I figure if the teaspoon's good, a little bit more won't hurt. So, here we go. Let's see how this thing's going to work. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up, and I'll bring y'all back when I'm done, because it's going to take about four minutes. All right, there's the whipped topping. And if you put it on a spoon, it doesn't fall off, so it's thick. And it tastes good. So now I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and kind of let it get cold and maybe set up a little bit. And then we'll be back and put these together so y'all stick around. All right, now we are going to assemble our parfaits. Now I have put some whipped cream into this little pastry bag. Well, actually it's not a pastry bag, it's a candy bag. But it will work for what I want. So we're gonna put some whipped cream down here in the bottom of this jar. We're just going to line a few of these up. Just a little bit more. All right, now we're going to put some chocolate pudding in them. And try not to make a mess with it. I think we're going to get a smaller spoon. That's better. Get a spatula and see if I can scrape that off the sides. Where that the side of the jar is not nasty dirty. Little more. 
more pudding in this one. Smooth it out a little bit. Put a little more in that one. I'd like to be able to use up all of this pudding in them, but I think we're going to have some left over. <clears throat> Might not be a whole lot, but there is going to be a little bit. Maybe not. I might be able to get it all. All right. Now we're going to go back with the whipped cream and finish off the top. some more chocolate pudding in that one. We're going to put a little more whipped cream in here. Whoop, don't fall over. Now all I need is the little chocolate sprinkles. But don't have none, so we'll just do it this way. All right. There's what they look like. Now we're going to put these in the, I'm going to put some lids on them, and we're going to put these in the refrigerator. So let me grab some lids. Well, let me go grab some that are dry. All right, now we're going to put some lids on them and put them in the refrigerator. And for dinner tonight, we are going to have copycat Taco Bell Mexican pizza. I got all the stuff to make it, so that's what we're going to have. All right, there's dessert. Chocolate parfaits like Kentucky Fried Chicken, just minus the little chocolate sprinkles. So, that's my video for now. Let me get y'all back up here. 
that's the video for right now. It's just a little short dessert, quick, easy if you got chocolate pudding and whipped cream. And you don't have to make your own whipped cream. You can use Cool Whip. And I'm thinking that next time that's what I'm going to do is use the Cool Whip because the Dream Whip tastes all right, but it's just not what I'm used to. So I'll stick to using Cool Whip. But if you've never tried this, give it a try. Quick little dessert, especially if you got kids, they're going to love it. But if you're new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed and you like what you see, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. I need all the YouTube family members I can get. If you are have already subscribed and you're new, thank you so much for joining my channel. I deeply appreciate it. It means the world to me for each and every one of you that have joined and you take time to watch to see what I'm doing or where I'm going or who knows what. Um, but I do appreciate it. Don't ever think that I don't because I truly do. But with that, I will say good afternoon. God bless and enjoy chocolate parfaits just like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Have a blessed day.